Hello everyone, welcome to the Engineering Projects YouTube channel. In the previous tutorial, we have converted the date successfully from the Microsoft uh, model date time. And in this tutorial, we will update or implement all the code into the edit tutorial post. As you can see, we, ha we have this added part and we don't have drop down here and all the procedures and uh, the controller actions are not updated for the edit scenario. So we need to implement that. Here we have added. So we will go to the view from here. Go to the view. And we will add drop down here from the index. where we have it so we have it here this is the drop down copy it and paste that between this and now refresh this one and we will get the drop down here so this is the drop down okay now what we need to do we need to set its value from the backend for example the post is in publish state so we need this drop down to be set as published so what we will do we will focus on it uh, as you can see we are rendering the data from the model and model title and it's rendering here okay and uh, we can get this direct from a model or we can use a view back to save the record in the temporary instance so we will stop the execution go to here and use a view back okay we will use a view back view back having name status and it's returning us the status we will use this view back in the edit part and here <coughs> we'll have this simply copy the path as name status and we can set the value of status by this now whatever the value comes from backend it automatically set here but we need to identify is it is in true false or is it is in zero one state so we will only get to know by publishing or executing this application but before that we need to implement the added procedure here you can see we have update okay we are updating title we are updating content where is this okay we also need to update the time so we can see we also need to update status is equal at status we also need to update the published time so here is the publish the date is equal get date where did is equal to this okay now execute the procedure and update that things here too so we need to copy the index of part here we have okay title and editing the record this is the insert part we have status which we need to render in update so this is the structure we have right now we have to send the status bit from 
add it as we have done here and when someone update the record we have to insert that here as status is equal to the value and this is it now execute the application and see how it's work so here we have the symptom that I have already explained you we have to identify either it is in false and true or uh, one and zero state and here we have the error here so we need to control that okay we will see if it is in false if this is false value is equal to zero or else the value is one okay and is equal true okay so if it's equal to true we have one and if it's equal to false we have draft as zero okay now we are done with this and let's uh, update some record after once refreshing uh, I will make it publish and update the record and it's getting the state of publish okay refresh this okay so it is not submitted uh, let's once again test this we have this state is there any error so we don't have any error let's use a debugger here in the update and use this and click on update here we have the model and see the value in the model so we have the value in the model false okay so it's mean it is not rendering finally uh, I have got the error that it is a logical mistake we have done here in the view bag we are setting the view bag to the false property value and we need to render it like we have done in the get request as you can see we have here this thing so we need to copy this and paste in edit action result like this and now it will return the exact record now execute and refresh once application and refresh this application to get the debugger on edit now continue and continue and then again continue here and you will see we have the true value now continue and here you will see in the source we have check here if the value is true then make it published so it's get published so I will click on draft and say update tutorial and here in the model we have value true okay so it's mean we have rendered from the back end but not actionable from the added or front end side 
Okay, we will remove these values. Go into the edit part, which is here. Refresh once again. Continue. And now we will use it as draft and update article. And here you will see the result post. So we have done the complete life cycle. I hope this video is informative. If you have any kind of question, you can ask us. And don't forget to subscribe the Engineering Projects YouTube channel. Take care. Bye-bye. Have fun.